Okay, this is a quick video on how to re-spool a push line fishing reel. I'm taking my daughter's fishing tomorrow and this guy, the line on it was a little bit curly after the years of not relining it. So I thought re-spool, reline, whatever. I thought I'd uh, show you guys how since I'm doing it anyway. On the bottom, typically it'll show you, you know, what pound test and how many feet and uh, I'll, I'll get some line and, and we'll go from there. Now one thing about the, the pound test and the yards, if you go down and test, you can put more yards on because the, the size of the line is different. If you put on like 16 pound test, then you only wanna put on like 50 yards. And I'll, and I'll get into that uh, when I show you how to put on, on the line. Now when I was a kid, this seemed a impossibility all right, so I have some eight pound, 10 pounds pretty heavy, eight pound monofilament from spider wire. They normally have a piece of tape on here somewhere, yep, with the start of the fishing line. So one thing I do is I try to keep this piece of tape. So I take off the line, put the tape on top. Then take out a little bit of line. First thing you wanna do is stick it through the top. It's a very important step. <laughs> Second thing you want to do is just tie an overhand knot. Have it as far out on the tag as you can. See it's just a simple knot. Then you tie this around, you wrap it around the inside of your fishing reel and you tie another overhand knot, but you make sure that your first overhand knot is not on the inside, it's on the, the outside. That makes sense. So I've made one overhand knot. I, my knot is way over here. I probably can't see it, but it's way over here. I'm gonna tie another one. Simple. And I still have that knot way over here. Right. Then you just pull it tight. What that's going to do is it's going to bring that first original knot all the way back in. And I know you see a tag and string here. Um, that's just a part that I need to get off first. So hang on a second. There. So now got the cap on. We got the knight, the knot, the knight, the knot tight. Go like this. It's probably easier to do this on your fishing pole, but I thought it'd be easier to make the video with the reel off my pole. So kind of the key here is to keep pressure on the line while you reel it in. So use one hand. It's actually a lot easier if you have it running through the first reel. Take one hand, hold it in the other hand and reel it. Right, I'm just keeping pressure on it. It's reeling in no problem. One thing you want to do after about oh, uh, 60 or 50 reels is to take off the top again and make sure you haven't put too much in there. You want to have room below that whatever it is bell and where the line goes you want some space. I'll reel this up a little bit and then I'll come back. All right, now I've reeled it maybe 30 times. You take this off, you take a look, and you see how it's in there. You, you can go up pretty far, but not too far. I'd say leave at least like a quarter to a half an inch of space between there, and right now it looks like I got it over an inch. So I'm gonna spin it a bunch more times. Hopefully that helped you. Thanks a lot, take it easy.